Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Well today we're going to put together this little slider and we're going to add some little overlapping buttons. Now Divi just keeps getting better and better and it's so easy to use. If you'd like to take it for a test drive you can do so from my affiliate link below this video. So let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and enable the Visual Builder to build on the front end. Once loaded, let's go down to where we want to work. I guess I'll go here, I'll add a new little section. I'll make it a regular section. I'll add a row. I'm going to have a two column row right here. In the first column, I'm just going to put a simple slider. Now by default, Divi comes with all these modules of standard. There's pretty much everything you need to build any sort of site. So I'm going to hit the slider there. And as you can see, it puts in a couple of slides by default. I'm not going to spend much time on the slider, so I'm sure you know how to do that. We'll spend a bit more time on the buttons. So here's our first slide. I'm going to go in there and simply add a background image. At the moment it's got a color. Let's add an image. And we'll do the same thing to the second slide. Now if you see that your writing is not real easy to read, you can go in and you can add a, an overlay use a background overlay, just flip the little switch to on on the design tab on your slide and as you can see it's already added a default one there you can make it whatever color you want and then go into the color and drag the opacity or see-throughness if you like down until it's where you want it to so you can see the writing and the image I think I prefer the black okay now the only other thing I want to do, we'll save that slide, is go into the design tab and we'll have it auto animate. So right down at the bottom here we've got animation. I'm going to flip the automatic animation to on so it goes between the slides automatically. And down below you can put a millisecond value in. 7000 milliseconds is obviously 7 seconds. Let's change that to say 5000, 5 seconds. Okay, that's fine. I'm just going to save that and that's the slider part done. Now let's have some fun. In this next column here I'm going to add three buttons. So I just clicked on the little dark plus thing for uh, the modules. I'm going to hit the button icon and the first one I'm going to leave the default text there. Obviously you put in whatever text you want. You can put the button link in just below it in the link URL. I'm going to go over to the design tab and I'm going to go to button use custom styles for button and button text I'll leave as it is text size I'll leave as it is but I'll put a different background color in I guess we'll start with a red button I'll do the border the same color and I want our button text to be white there we go and the only other thing I'm going to do at the moment when you hover over it, it's got a little icon. I'll leave that as a default. Divi by default comes with all these elegant themes icons. They're really useful. So you can change your icon there if you wish. I'm just going to go down. I'm going to add a little box shadow to the bottom of the button. There we go. Fine. So now I'm going to actually duplicate this twice. So we've got three of them. So I'm going to save that. I'm going to go on to it. There we go. Go to the little two squares there, duplicate, there it is, and one more time duplicate again, fantastic. Now this one, let's make it a different color, design, button, I guess we'll make it green this one, and bottom one, same, we'll just change the color, design, button, and border there we go so we've got three buttons here now I want to sort of 
push them over and position them like we've got above here so they're sort of overlapping our slider there go into our first one we're going to go to the advanced tab we're going to go down to position and I'm going to change it from default to absolute not fixed because it'll go out of the whole area absolute it'll sort of stay within its the area and at the moment you can see it's telling it to go to the top okay and I want to add some margin to it to pull it over this way negative margin so if we now go to our design and we'll go down to spacing and margin now we want to give it a negative margin on the left to pull it across so I'll say minus 100 and you don't have to put pixels in it'll do it for you or you can have it more if that's not enough for you it's 120 fantastic okay that's our first one done let's go into our second button here and we'll do the same thing we'll make it absolute position absolute now if you find when you do this it's behind the slider or behind another element you can change the Z index underneath just bring that up to a higher value until it goes on top of what you want we can change this here but I don't think it's going to work for what we want today now we're going to have to do it with uh, margins so let's go over to design back to margins spacing and again firstly I'm going to put a margin on the top because I kind of want it down here somewhere let's try 100 pixels and see where that puts it okay it's almost there let's try 150 that's a little closer we can always adjust it in a minute now on the left again I'm going to do a minus 120 again so it's negative 120 and it puts the pixels in so there we are it's overlapping our little slider there fantastic now last but not least let's do our other little button here so let's save what we got click it on it and again advanced position change that to absolute and like I say that's not going to help us very much here so we'll leave it where it was which was there and we'll do it with margin spacing this time we want to put it all the way down the bottom here that's about right we might want to adjust that in it and negative 120 wasn't it minus 120 there we go and we want to just pop it up a bit if you hover over your margin box you've got these two little arrows at the side there you can fine-tune things with that I'll just pop it up so it's sitting right there fantastic so there it's pretty much done this one I think we need to take down a little bit more So we'll go into the spacing and we'll manually adjust this one too until it's where you want it to be. Something like that works for me. Okay, that's fine. But although this looks fine on a desktop, we're probably going to want to change things on an actual tablet and on a mobile phone. So let's go into our margin again. Let's hit the little mobile phone icon and it gives us an option for desktop tablet and phone desktop will leave just as it is let's look on our tab tablet yeah you see they're all over the place on a tablet that's really not what I want so let's take our uh, margins and paddings away so I'm just gonna put zero in the box and zero in the box there's our first one right there and let's go now to our positioning and again hover over where it says position in the black there hit the little mobile phone and decide where we want each of these buttons so the green one was pretty much in the middle which is fine let's go back to our spacing and pop it up just have it overlapping again 
So again, we can do some negative margin on the top. Let's say negative 50, perhaps. Yeah, I think that's going to work fine. Let's go into our next button. And again, let's go position it. And again, we want to hover over to tablet. Go down. I thought it had already done that. I was looking at the wrong one. Let's have this one perhaps on the right hand side. And again, the margin we want to have negative 120 on the tablet. Hit the little cell phone type icon. So we want zero there. And we want negative 50 on the top. Fantastic. And last but not least, let's just save that one. And do our next one. And again, let's go to position it first. Advanced position. This one. Hit the little phone icon, bring it up on the tablet. And this one we want on the right hand side, don't we? Great, well it's over there right now, so let's go to the spacing. Again, go to the tablet. Top we want negative 50. And left zero that's great and of course you're going to want to repeat this for the cell phone as well because it's going to look a bit strange on the cell phone so if we do the same thing let's go over the margin and hit the phone I mean that actually works but those buttons may be too too much together for me so we're on the purple one right here. If you want to change them, you can do exactly the same thing. We'll go over to our advanced. I don't know if the position is going to help us out on this one. No. So we just need to do it with a bit of padding. So I want, actually want them all in the middle. So I'm going to put that one in the middle. Then we'll go back to our spacing. And we'll stack them on top of each other. Now padding top on this one. One of them we can leave at minus 50. In fact, let's just leave that one there. I guess we better move it out of the way. Okay, let's put, uh, say, 100 padding. And that pops it down. Then we can put one in the middle and have that last one there. So let's save that. Go back. And I think it was our red one we wanted to change next. Get the red one back to our design advanced position put him in the middle actually undo that we want to make sure we're on the phone there we go it's the red one I want to put it in the middle scroll that up so you can see now it's actually behind our green one there which is fine and we'll give it a try padding of 50 we I mean margin of 50 on the top that may not be enough we're on the phone say 50 yeah it's too much actually let's say 20 that's just about right let's just fine adjust it a little bit with that so there you have it you've got that working you've got a cell phone version with the buttons still overlapping you've got a tablet version with the buttons overlapping at the bottom and you've got the desktop version with the buttons overlapping on the right hand side there and that's a neat little effect and it's all achieved without custom CSS and everything with the positioning and a bit of margin so I hope you found that useful and enjoyed it if you have please ring the bell give it a thumbs up share comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.